Hey everybody, what's up? This is Pat Flynn from the Smart Passive Income blog. Today I'm gonna to be talking about something really important for your blog or online business, and that is keyword research. Now, whether you're doing keyword research on your own using tools like the Google Keyword Tool from AdWords, or you're hiring out someone else to do it for you, you gotta understand what the number one goal is behind all keyword research, and that is to rank on the first page of Google. That's what really matters. You know, if you're on the second page, you might as well be on the 30th page because everything happens on the first page. It's super, super, super important that you understand this because that's your goal. So whenever you're doing keyword research, which I'm going to show you how to do uh, in certain ways in a second, you got to analyze who's on the first page and know how to beat them. Now this goes for if you're going to write blog posts and you're looking for keywords for your blog posts or if you're, you know, looking to get into new niches uh, for niche sites and if you're doing articles like on eHow or InfoBarrel or Squidoo or Hub Pages or whatever. You know, you want to be on that first page. That's where all the money is. That's where the traffic is. You know, if you're if you're on a blog, that's where the subscribers are, your RSS readers, everything. So if you're doing any of these things, you know, writing blog posts, creating niche sites, or writing articles, you gotta remember, you gotta you gotta wanna rank on the first page of Google. So how do you do this? How do you properly do keyword research? You know, if you're doing, you know, one of these three things. Now first you have to understand searches. You know, how many people are searching and for what uh, for what keywords. And secondly, you have to understand everything about your competition. You know, backlinks, page ranks, uh, indexed pages, you know, domain age, everything so that you know what you have to do to beat them and then rank on the first page and then be all good. So what tools can you use to do proper keyword research? Well, there's a number of free ones. I've mentioned a couple already. You know, Google AdWords keywords, uh, the Google AdWords keyword tool. That's a that's one that you know a lot of people are using. I'm sure some of you are using right now uh, too. But there's a paid one out there that I use every single day. You know, when I'm writing blog posts, when I'm writing articles, when I'm you know I'm about to start to do niche sites as well, and it's been helping me out tremendously to filter out through all the uh, the crappy uh, keywords out there that have no searches or that are too competitive to, to, to rank for. And that is Market Samurai. It's freaking awesome. And I'm gonna show you how it works right now. Or actually, I'm gonna show you how I use it uh, right now. All right, so here we are in Market Samurai right now, and I'm going to go a little fast. So if you see things that don't make sense to you, don't worry. You know, if, if you have Market Samurai ready or you're thinking about trying it out uh, for free, um, you know, there's a ton of excellent videos by the Market Samurai people to, to help you figure out how to do this. But in a nutshell, this is how it works. So I'm going to type in my primary keyword for my primary website, which is smartpassiveincome.com, and that is passive income and I'm gonna create a new project. Now there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do, but I'm gonna show you the SEO competition part. I'm gonna head on over to SEO competition and click on generate results, and it's gonna show me a number of different, I guess, factors uh, for the top 10 listings in Google. So if you're doing niche sites, if you have your own site uh, and you wanna know how to get to the top 10 position, this is how you figure it out. So you can see me right here in the middle smartpassiveincome.com at number five. And it shows me different statistics about my uh, my website, my page rank, the number of indexed uh, pages that Google has of mine, uh, backlinks to my page, uh, backlinks to, to my homepage, backlinks to my entire domain, and uh, different things that I had, I should have in my, uh, on my website, which is like the keyword in the title, keyword in the description, etc. So, from here, I can look at my competition, people that are higher than me, and see exactly what I have to do. So, for instance, here, you know, GeniusTypes.com ranked at number four. Uh, they have a domain age of four. I have one of 
zero. I'm not even two years old yet, so that's probably why it shows a dash there. P page rank is the same. You know, the index pages are, are basically the same. Now, this is weird here because I'm ranked lower, but I have more page link or I have more backlinks, and backlinks are super important to uh, to page rankings in Google. So I'm curious to know why I'm below. And it when I go down here further, and I look at here where one of the things is keyword in the header tag, I notice that mine says no. This I I guarantee you this is why I am not higher than this guy. And I actually just found this out when doing a, a a run through of this tutorial for you and it blows my mind and I'm really glad I had this tool to figure that out so I'm gonna change that right away and I guarantee once I do that once Google re-indexes our sites I will climb higher than this guy but say that everything was the same and you know he had more backlinks I could see if he had more backlinks I could see that and know what exactly what have to, I would have to do and obviously you know a lot of you know that the higher quality backlinks are worth more so if you want to know where his backlinks are coming from, we can do that. If we click on this arrow here and click on PR analysis, which is page rank analysis, it'll go through all the websites that backlink to him and their page ranks. And I'm going to cancel that so that it just shows those. Now here we go. Right away it shows a number of different uh, backlinks from a number of uh, different ranking page ranks. So I can see there's six backlinks from PageRank for websites. Now I want to know where they come from because uh, maybe I could do something. So I'm going to click on this one. It's a site that I know, doshdosh.com. Really great internet marketing website. Check it out if you haven't already. Now when I'm here, I'm looking for a link to geniustypes.com. And, and if you're the owner of that website, geniustypes.com, I apologize for singling you out. You just happen to rank one ahead of me, so I'm uh, using you for this example. But so I'm, I'm here at doshdosh.com coming over from Market Samurai, and I'm going to do a quick search for the word genius types or for geniustypes.com. So genius, oh, here it is. Links to this article, number 21. Uh, link soup helps Stephen, blah, blah, blah. Genius types. So this is a link to genius types that was placed here because genius types put a link to this article. So apparently, dosh, dosh. Uh, lists all the different po uh, blog posts in the blog sphere that link to this post. So if I want a link on this PR4 website, all I have to do is link to this post as well. There you go. It's that easy. Now let's try another one. Let's do uh, Daniel Soko's site from uh, Daily Blog Tips, another great site. Now I'm going to look for Genius Types again. Uh, genius. Nope. I don't see that there. You know, I just typed in Control F to find that, and I couldn't find it so I'm guessing it's in the uh, in the comments section so I'm gonna look here and hover over each of their names and see where their sites point to ah here you go Brian Lee geniustypes.com great so that tells me if I want a PR for uh, backlink to my own site I just have to leave a comment right here and then it'll be you know I'll match this guy and then I'll climb higher than him if, if I do more um, but, you know, this guy is one up on me on here. If I do this, it cancels it out. Um, so I, I hope you can see how this works and how powerful it can be. I can go through all the high page ranking websites and catch up to him that way. Now, SEO competition is just one of the things uh, that I do with Market Samurai to check how my websites are doing and where they're ranking and what I can do to improve. There's so many other cool things that I don't have time to talk about uh, right now, but I will in the future. So if you want to give Market Samurai a try, I really encourage you to do so. It's highly, highly recommended. I hardly ever recommend products to you and, and try to promote things, but this is just one of those things that I would hate to not promote to you because it's so good. Um, and the link below you can use to get your free trial. And it is an affiliate link, so if you do end up purchasing the product, I do get a, an affiliate commission. I'm just want, trying to be honest and upfront with you with that. So, uh, you know, if you don't like it, you know, no worries. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. I'm just trying to help you out. And uh, if you want to pay me back at all, you know, you can use my affiliate link down there. And uh, I do get a little bit of commission. So I thank you for that. Now, if you have any questions about some of the other things I do uh, with Market Samurai, please feel free to let me know. And I hope to see you guys, uh, you know, ranking on the first page of Google. I'll talk to you soon. And, uh, until the next video, I wish you all the best. Cheers.